want to make sure that ABC Taxis is a great place to work. We hope you find this film interesting and informative. Mes tik stengiamės parodyti tai, kad mes gerbėme visus aplinkinius, kolegas ir mūsų biznį. Chcemy jako korporacja ABC prezentować najlepszą obsługę klienta. Šokol šreni manuškė amra excellent customer service dite bodo porikor. Why is managing diversity and equal opportunities important at ABC Taxis? We want ABC Taxis to be the best, most professional taxi service in Norfolk, delivering an excellent customer service experience by attracting the best drivers and staff. This will make ABC Taxis the preferred choice for customers and third parties, like hotels. Our goal is that all different types of people feel comfortable working here and feel they are treated with respect and that all of our customers feel respected and treated like individuals too. What exactly does equal opportunities and managing diversity mean? It means that ABC Taxis is committed to treating everyone equally and encouraging a workforce made up of different types of people. It also means that we need to treat all our customers appropriately. In particular, we need to understand some of the sensitive issues around protected characteristics that we may experience with the different types of people we work with and give a service to. We understand this can sometimes be a challenge as we are providing a service to thousands of different people with different needs, priorities and sensitivities each week. Does it mean everyone get the pay the same? Equal opportunities doesn't mean that everyone gets paid the same or has the same working hours as different jobs and roles within the company have different requirements. What are protected characteristics? The UK Equality Act from October 2010 should be a positive thing for people at work and across society. It covers the following protected characteristics. Age. Disability, which could be physical or mental. Gender reassignment, that is, if somebody is changing or has changed gender. Marriage or civil partnership. Pregnancy or maternity. Race, including ethnic origin, colour, nationality or national origin. Religion or belief. Sex, as in gender. Sexual orientation. We need to make sure that we do not discriminate, harass or bully anyone because of these protected characteristics, as this is illegal in the UK. Discrimination could be by doing or saying something inappropriate, writing something down, or actually missing someone out of something because of their protected characteristic. For example, because you think they're too old to do something. So from your point of view, what have been your positive experience of taking taxis? Well, from my experience of getting a taxi, it's often pretty good, actually. I've noticed that people are pretty helpful and friendly and they're willing to help out. Um, I haven't had too many embarrassing or awkward experiences, really. People have been always quite ready and quite friendly to do whatever I've needed them to do to help me out. So what are things that you think that taxi drivers could do differently or better? Well, if I'm at home or in a place like here where I know quite well, it's OK. But if I get picked up from an unfamiliar place, I don't know for sure where the taxi is, um, I might not be sure if the taxi is actually standing there waiting for me because there's two different things here. The car might be running, so its diesel engine might be running. I might stand there thinking, well, is that a taxi or is that just a normal car waiting? The other slight shock can be if there's a hybrid car, these quieter cars now. So I might not even know there's a taxi there for a start. So on situations like that, when I'm particularly in an unfamiliar area, whether the taxi driver could maybe come out and help me, they might show me where the car door is. They don't need to help me get into the car, but show me where the door is. That's particularly helpful. Um, when I get maybe dropped off at the destination, again, if it's an unfamiliar place, it's quite good if they could take me, for example, into the train station so I find the passenger assistance people to help me get on the train. I find that quite useful because I find 
areas like that very difficult to navigate around on my own as I have no sight. So it's really useful if they could just give me a bit of support and guidance when it comes to that. And what are the key messages that you would like us to take back and share with the taxi driving community? I would just say when you spread this around the taxi driving community, you know, it's always best to ask what kind of support the customers need. And when it comes to sight loss, it's quite a wide ranging field. So, you know, a lot of people do have some residual sight left over. So some people might need some support. If that's the case, then great, you know, find out what that person needs. If that person doesn't need help, don't be kind of offended or disappointed by that. But equally saying that if somebody does need some assistance, just be ready to offer that at any time and, and um, find out what they need. And normally it's quite a straightforward thing to do, I'd like to think, and makes people feel a lot better as well when they help somebody out. Thank you, Ed. You've made some really interesting points there that I'm sure everyone's going to find really helpful. What exactly is discrimination? There are four types of discrimination. Direct discrimination. This is where you're treated less favourably than someone else because of a protected characteristic. For example, if you are not to be offered a management job because you are a woman or not offered a secretary job, because you are a man. Another example would be refusing to pick up a customer because they were gay or black. Indirect discrimination. This is where there is a rule or behavior put in place that would put someone with a protected characteristic at a disadvantage. For example, stating that team members cannot have a beard could be indirectly discriminating against people who have a beard for religious reasons. Or it could be making sexist jokes, comments or having banter, which could mean that some people do not feel comfortable working in that environment and therefore are excluded. Discrimination by association. This is discriminating against someone because they associate with someone who has a protected characteristic. For example, not promoting someone because they look after a relative with disabilities and you think it may affect their performance. Perception discrimination. This is discriminating against someone because people assume they have a protected characteristic even if they don't. For example, not allowing a young looking person to represent the company even though they are in fact much older. Another example would be assuming that someone with an Arabic sounding name is a Muslim and won't want to deal with alcohol. What is harassment and bullying? Harassment and bullying are when offensive, intimidating or intrusive behaviours or language are used to undermine, humiliate, upset or injure someone. It is possible for someone to feel harassed or bullied even if that wasn't the intention. What about conversations we have with customers and colleagues? We have to consider our conversations with our customers by not saying things that could be seen as inappropriate. For example, jokes or comments or stereotypes about race, religion or sexuality, even normal for Norfolk type comments, could be seen as stereotyping and are therefore not appropriate. I like to have a laugh at work, but does this mean I can't tell any jokes or have a sense of humour? Of course, we should still have a laugh at work is all part of the friendly ABC way. We just need to be aware of any sensitive subjects that we should probably avoid. Sometimes I like to go into the political discussions with my customer or my colleagues. Is that OK? It is tricky to get into a political debate without getting into potentially sensitive issues about immigration, race or religion. So the message is, be careful. What are the benefits of equal opportunities and managing diversity to customers, colleagues and the business overall? If we can work together to get this right, then it should help to continue to make ABC Taxis a great place to work and the best taxi service in Norfolk. We want to make sure that all colleagues and customers feel valued, appreciated and comfortable. What about the law in the UK? The Equality Act of October 2010 
makes the rules very clear and ABC Taxis has the legal responsibility to investigate any complaints and take appropriate action. What about jokes, banter and throwaway comments? Whilst we like to have a laugh at work, we need to be careful about jokes, banter and throwaway comments in case someone could feel discriminated against or bullied. There are two other things to watch out for. Firstly, someone could feel discriminated against or bullied even though you didn't mean to upset them. Secondly, someone may overhear an inappropriate comment that is not directed at them and may have the right to make a complaint that would need to be investigated. Why should we all speak English whilst working at ABC Taxis? Whilst it's great that we have people from so many different nationalities working in the company, we need to respect that English is the common language when working in the UK. This helps teamwork and the way we can work together. It also encourages different team members to integrate rather than cluster in groups where people talk in different languages. And what about the Modern Slavery Act of 2015? Another important reason for encouraging people to speak English is that we need to consider the Modern Slavery Act 2015 and understand that people may be more vulnerable to being treated badly if they do not understand English. So what do we do if a customer or colleague thinks we've said something inappropriate? Usually, it is best to apologise if they think you have said something that is inappropriate. You may wish to ask them why they found your language or behaviour inappropriate if you really do not understand why they are upset and you have behaved in line with the ABC way. If they do not accept your apology and wish to make a complaint, then they should contact the accounts and office manager in the office and this will be investigated. What do I do if one of my colleagues or drivers is doing or saying inappropriate things? You should tell the day or night driver's manager and ask them to investigate it. What should I do if I feel my colleagues are being discriminated against? You should tell the day or night driver's manager and ask them to investigate it. What should I do if a customer is saying inappropriate or offensive things to me or asking me personal questions which make me feel uncomfortable? If the unacceptable behaviour continues, then you can end the conversation or ask the customer to leave the taxi, depending on the situation. You should tell your day or night driver's manager so the relevant person can be blocked on the system. What should I do if I feel threatened by a colleague or a customer and think I may be in danger? Where the behaviour is so extreme that it threatens someone's immediate safety and welfare, then other options can be considered. For example, reporting the matter to the police or taking legal action. If you feel threatened, then clearly call for help immediately. If a customer makes a threat of any nature, then you must inform one of the directors or the day or night driver's manager immediately so he can decide if further action is needed. For example, alerting the police. If you have any ideas how we can improve the way we manage diversity and equal opportunities, please tell your line manager. We want everyone to see that ABC Taxis is the people's taxi service. <laughs> <laughs>